Animal eggs are some of the most unusual looking things in nature. Some look alien, some look terrifying. Here are the top 15 coolest looking animal eggs. Number 15. Horn Sharks Horn sharks are a type of bullhead shark that can be found in the waters off the coast of the western U.S. They have short, stubby heads, the spiny dorsal fins that are usually higher up on their backs, along with dark spots all along their otherwise gray bodies. They're a solitary species that tends to hunt alone at nighttime, while they spend the daytime hours hidden in alcoves to evade predators themselves. They're regarded as being completely harmless to humans. But while there are a number of unusual things about them, such as their behavior and human molar-like teeth, the weirdest and coolest attribute of the horn shark is the strange eggs that they lay. That's because they are spiral-shaped, and you may not at first even realize that these are eggs. The up to 4.7 inch long casings are actually surrounded by two flanges that twist around them, and because of this it can take several hours for the females to lay a clutch of as many as 24 of them. At first they are soft and begin to harden over the next couple of days, and this is all a result of their ingenious design. The biggest threat to horn sharks is of their young being preyed upon before they hatch, and these eggs provide the parents with a novel way of protecting them. Once laid, the egg is picked up by the female in her mouth and wedged into cracks and crevices in the rocks and reefs. The shape prevents them from falling out, and as they harden they become strongly held in place. Within 10 months, the juvenile sharks will begin to emerge from the eggs, and even get a yolk sac that provides them with all the nutrition that they need for their first few weeks. Number 14. Common Muir The common muir, which is also often called the common guillemot, is a type of seabird that spends most of its life flying over the ocean, with the one exception being when it's time to reproduce. They are highly agile in the air and in the water, having been seen diving into the ocean to depths of up to 600 feet in search of food. But when it's the right time of year, they pack into dense breeding colonies called loomeries. There can be as many as 20 pairs of mures in every single square meter of any of these colonies, which always form on steep cliff edges to reduce the chance of any predators being able to reach them. This position poses a problem for the mures, though. Each pair only produces one egg, and it's vital that every attempt is made to ensure this egg can hatch. At such a great height, normal-shaped eggs would be at a great risk of falling off the edge and splatting on the ground below, but muir eggs are far from normal. In fact, they're pointed at one end, in what is known as a pyriform shape, and this proves to be beneficial in several ways. If for some reason the egg is knocked, it'll roll in a circle instead of falling off the cliff edge, and actually ensures a larger proportion of the shell is in contact with the ground at any one time. Furthermore, it also helps with the heat transfer and growth of the chick inside, and contributes to the way that mures have one of the shortest incubation times of any large seabird, with the young usually hatching within just 30 days. Number 13. Peregrine Falcon The peregrine falcon is one of the most well-known of all raptor species, and can be found all across the world. Growing up to about 23 inches long, with a wingspan of up to 47 inches, they have an instantly identifiable coloration. But the thing that they're best known for is the fact that they are the fastest birds on Earth and regularly reach speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour when diving during a hunt. Peregrine falcons become sexually mature once they're two to three years old and mate with the same partner for life. They become incredibly territorial during the breeding season and will typically lay claim to such a large area that you won't see two pairs any closer than two-thirds of a mile apart from each other. This ensures they have a wide enough space to provide enough nutrition for their young, which will usually be born in nests on cliff edges or in tree hollows. Females will lay a clutch of three to four eggs, and they're one of the most unusually colored types of eggs in the animal kingdom. They're white, but mostly covered in red and brown markings that make them appear bronze in color. Quite why they've developed to be like this isn't entirely clear but it's possibly in order to prevent potential predators from even realizing their actual eggs in the first place. Number 12. American Robin The American Robin, not to be confused with the distantly related European Robin that they were named after, is a species of songbird that's native to North and Central America, and is one of the most common birds in the region. They spend their days in search of bugs and fruit to feed on, and often group together in large flocks at nighttime to help fend off any would-be predators. They're one of the first birds to sing at dawn and are loved for their striking appearance, but it's their eggs that really make them stand out above all other species. 
During the breeding season, each pair will build a nest from grass, twigs, and feathers and mud, and inside of it, the females will lay a clutch of four to five blue-colored eggs. The intensity of the coloration can range from pale blue to a much deeper, vivid blue, which is surprising because they don't exactly camouflage in with the nest. To combat this, the females incubate them for the full two weeks before they hatch and rely on the males to provide nutrition during this time. The evolution of blue eggs like these isn't really understood, but it could be to do with the female's diet in the weeks leading up to the laying, and has, as a result, become one of the most recognizable bird eggs in America, so much so that there's even an official color named after them, Robin Egg Blue. Number 11. Stink Bugs Native to regions across Asia, but now found elsewhere too because of accidental introduction, stink bugs grow to around two-thirds of an inch long and can be identified by their shield-shaped bodies. They happily feed on more than 100 different types of plants, and populations have now established in the US and Europe and are blamed for tens of millions of dollars worth of crop loss every year. One of the reasons why they are so good at invading new territories is their life cycles. Each female is capable of laying as many as 400 viable eggs in a lifetime, and it's easy to overlook them if you ever come across them in the wild. When first laid, the eggs are perfectly spherical and translucent, and no more than a fraction of an inch in diameter. They slowly start to develop specks inside, which are the growing bugs, and the entire cavity within the egg will eventually be filled with the juvenile. Finally, the egg will split open and the young stink bug will roll out, leaving the egg to close back up after it leaves. A clutch of newborns will stay with their empty eggs for a few days to consume any leftover nutrients before finally moving off to grow into adulthood. Number 10. African Jacana African Jacanas are one of the most easily recognizable species of bird on the continent. With long toes and equally as long claws, they grow to around 11 inches tall and can appear to walk across water. Their reliance on wetlands is undeniable, and they spend their entire lives there. Unlike other species, they don't even travel anywhere else to breed and instead build floating nests to hold on to their eggs. The lakes where they live have ample supplies of nutrients, which has led to an unusual breeding behavior in this species. Females will mate with multiple males in each season, and once the eggs have been laid, the males will incubate them so the females can meet up with another to start all over again. As far as the eggs themselves, they have intricate patterning that almost looks as if someone's drawn over them with a sharpie. Their base color is a dull orange, and the seemingly random arrangement of black lines actually serves a clever purpose. They help the eggs to fully camouflage in with the nests, which are often made from reeds and leaves, and become virtually impossible to see from a distance. The eggs are also slightly pointed at one end, and this is yet another adaptation to the environment where the birds live. If the eggs, for some reason, fall from the nest into the water, they'll float with the tip pointing above the surface of the water, and this makes it easier for the birds to pick up in their beaks. Number 9. Chetis Warbler Found across Europe, Northern Africa, and Western Asia, Chetis Warblers are a species of small bush warbler that are named after the Italian zoologist who first described them in the 18th century. The five-inch tall birds themselves are brown and pale white in color, and this makes it incredibly difficult to spot them when they're moving around the undergrowth. The main way in which you can tell that they're nearby is because of their songs, which are so loud that they can often be heard echoing out in wetland regions. There are thought to be as many as 1.6 million breeding pairs in Europe, where the males defend their territory so the females are left in peace as they lay their eggs in their leafy nest. Each clutch contains around five eggs that measure up to a half inch long. But what's amazing about them is that they're a perfect egg shape and are a rich chestnut red color. If you hold them in your hands, they look and feel like small but deeper colored chicken eggs. And the reason why they've developed like this is for camouflage. When inside a nest that's constructed within dense vegetation, the eggs are barely visible, making it far less likely that any predators will be able to find them. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Green Lacewing Green lacewings are a type of butterfly-like insect that are native to regions all around the world. With a wingspan of up to a half inch wide, they usually have translucent wings and typically feed on pollen, nectar, small mites, and aphids. They're often actually seen as being beneficial to gardeners because they eat animals that are regarded as pests, and the sight of a lacewing eggs is a welcome sight. Each female can produce as many as 200 eggs at a time and deposits them at night. Placed on plants near a food source, they are hung on stalks that are about a third of an inch long 
and usually attached to the underside of a leaf in clusters. Once the larvae hatch, the stalk acts as a guide for them to which to follow where they'll find aphids and can begin to feed on them to acquire the nutrients needed to progress into the next stage of their life cycle. While the eggs are laid like this for practical purposes, they also have the secondary benefit of appearing as if they're a growth from the plant itself, so predators rarely see them as a potential meal. It's partly because of this that the species has endured so long, and have remained relatively unchanged since they first emerged during the Jurassic period. Number 7. European Golden Plover The European Golden Plover is a series of wading bird that is, as its name would suggest, native to wetlands across Europe. Growing to around 11 inches long and with a wingspan of up to 28 inches, they're bigger than other types of plover and have a distinct coloration with S-shaped white feathers along their necks. Historically, they've been a popular game bird, and were actually the inspiration for the creation of the Guinness Book of World Records, after the managing director of Guinness Breweries became embroiled in a debate as to whether they were the world's fastest game bird, and was unable to definitively find the answer from any book, and led to him commissioning his own. What the Book of Records failed to mention about the European Golden Plover, however, was the remarkable coloration of their eggs. They're more pointed than the ones produced by most other species, are light orange in color, and have mottled black markings over them. As with most eggs, the patterns reflect the environment where they're normally laid, and help them to blend in with their wetland surroundings to prevent predators from finding them so easily. Number 6. Great Tinamou Native to Central and South America, the Great Tinamou is often called a small turkey because of its size, usually growing up to 17 inches long, and weighing as much as 2.4 pounds. Surprisingly, despite their size, they're actually able to fly, although don't rely on this very often, and you'll normally only see them launch into the air if they feel in danger and have no other means of escape. They're a solitary species and rarely congregate with others, but the only exception to this is, of course, when it's mating season. Their nests are usually made in the overground root systems of trees, and the females will typically mate with five or six males each season and lay a clutch of four to five eggs. Amazingly, these take on a bright blue or violet coloration and are usually shiny, almost looking as if they've been polished. The males are the ones responsible for incubating the eggs while the females go to find other mates, and will stay with the newborn chicks for almost a month before moving on in search of another mate for themselves too. The eggs are hardly inconspicuous, so are often vulnerable to being taken by predators. But since birds mate so often during each season, they're able to rear large enough numbers to adulthood to ensure that they survive. Number 5. Millipedes There are more than 12,000 different named species of millipedes, and they're found on every continent on Earth apart from Antarctica. Their bodies are made up of multiple segments, on which two pairs of jointed legs are attached. Despite the name meaning a thousand legs, there aren't any species that are known to have this many. The current record holder is the Alachme plenipes, which is found in California and has been found to have as many as 750 legs. Millipedes exhibit as many different mating techniques as there are species, and females can lay anywhere between 10 to 300 eggs at a time. These offer a nutritious meal to predators, however, so they've had to develop clever ways to protect as many of their offspring as possible. Some hide them within nests of dried feces, others wrap them in silky cocoons, but the most unusual are the ones who cover them in a sticky mucus and roll them around in balls of dirt so they look like nothing more than stones. Even humans often misidentify them, thinking they're either poop or small pebbles, and it's when these small structures are opened up and you see the yellow eggs inside that the truth is revealed. Number 4. Praying Mantis Throughout the world, there are at least 2,400 species of mantis, which are insects that are most closely related to termites and cockroaches. They're often mistakenly confused for stick insects because of how the majority of their bodies have evolved to look like leaves but can be easily identified by their triangular heads and bulbous eyes. They are surprisingly effective hunters, often lying in wait until prey passes by and then snapping forward with their forelegs that can puncture and grab hold of their target. With a life expectancy of just a year, however, the race is on for a mantis to breed as soon as it's able to. They are a species that often practices sexual cannibalism, whereby the females eat the males after mating, and this gives them the energy they need to lay their eggs before they too will die. The unusual thing about mantises, though, is that they don't lay eggs like other insects because there's such a high risk of predators, such as parasitic wasps, stealing them. Since the parents won't usually be around when the eggs finally hatch, they aren't able to protect them, so have to give the eggs the best chance of survival in their absence. 
To do this, females produce a sticky, frothy substance from glands in the abdomen, which surrounds the eggs as they are laid. It hardens over the next few days to produce a structure called an uthica, and this will either be buried in the ground or attached to a flat surface or a plant. The final structure, if you see one in the wild, looks far more like an insect that had built a cocoon than it does an egg sac. And while there are still some predator species that have perfected the technique of extracting the eggs from the protective shell, it takes a lot of effort and it would arguably be easier to search for food elsewhere. Number 3. Red-Winged Blackbird The red-winged blackbird is a species that's found across North and Central America and is one of the most prevalent bird species on the continent with in some years populations believed to exceed 250 million individuals. The females are mottled brown in color, but it's the males that give the species their name, with their dark black feathers with red and yellow colorations at the top of their wings. They tend to build their nests in large colonies, where the males may protect as many as 10 females within their territory, although the females too will mate with other males during the breeding season. This allows a wide genetic variance in their offspring which is one of the reasons why their numbers are able to reach such high levels. The females lay between three to five eggs at a time, which are oval in shape, bluish-green in color, and have a smooth, glossy appearance. While they may look amazing, the eggs are highly sought after by predators such as snakes, mink, and raccoons, and the birds have had to develop measures to try to protect them during the most vulnerable stage. They'll often build nests over water to make it more difficult to access, and the female's brown coloration helps them to camouflage in with their surroundings while they're incubating the eggs for up to two weeks before they hatch. Number 2. Monitor Lizards Native to Africa, Asia, and Australasia, there are at least 70 known species of monitor lizards, some of which, like the Komodo dragon, are the largest species of lizards on Earth. Most of them are carnivorous predators and occupy some of the highest spots on the food chain. And while one of their favorite meals are the eggs of other animals, their eggs are rather unusual themselves. Females will lay between 7 and 40 eggs at a time, and some species, including the Komodo dragons, don't even need them to have been fertilized by a male for them to be viable. They're also oviparous, which means the vast majority of embryonic development takes place after the egg has been laid, as opposed to when they're forming within the mother and this means that the monitor lizard eggs are surprisingly small. Komodo dragon eggs, for example, are around the size of a grapefruit, and while this may be large in comparison to other eggs, they're tiny considering an adult dragon can grow in excess of 10 feet long. Other species of monitor lizards lay eggs that weigh 1 or 2 ounces, which again are much smaller than would be expected, and they're usually deposited in underground nests to retain as much heat as possible. One species, though, has a unique development to avoid having to incubate their own eggs. They lay them inside termite mounds and simply return several months later to release the newborns. Number 1. Emu You're probably aware that ostriches lay enormous eggs, but did you know that emus do too? Said to be the equivalent of 12 normal hen eggs, females lay one every few days during the breeding season, and when they're done, will have a clutch of around 15 eggs. Their shells are, on average, about 1 20th of an inch thick, and measure on average 5 inches by 3 and a half inches. They weigh up to 1 and a half pounds each, and are most noticeable for their unusual dark green coloration. It's a huge effort for the females to lay eggs like these, and they'll typically lose a significant amount of weight during the season. The incubation period for newborns is longer than most other species, too, at around 2 months, which means there's far more nutrition is needed inside the actual egg. This means that the yolk makes up of around 50% of the egg's contents to ensure the young birds emerge healthy. But also means that if you buy an unfertilized egg, it'll make an omelet or cake that has a rich golden color and is far more flavorful than if any other type of egg had been used. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.